They wolves in sheep clothing, so be very careful. Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Nick. And um let me just give you an overview of what happened today. Well, this morning what I had to do. I had to drop, uh, pick up a load in Union, South Carolina that's going to Florida. So I had to come back home and drop it off because Devin will take that in his truck tomorrow. All right. But then after that, after I dropped it off here at my house, I had to um I put it in the garage. Then I had to go back out to Fountain Inn and pick up a load that's dropping in the morning at 8 o'clock. I got about five pounds, y'all can see right there. So today, you know, ain't too bad. I did about, about six hours of driving. That ain't too bad. I leave in the morning, probably get on the road by five, and I should be there at eight in the morning. But the load that I got right here, that little bit of stuff, like five pallets, um, it's 202 miles paying 900 so that put us like what that is about four dollars and 45 cents a mile so that's that's a good rate on on it but i just wanted to you know go over a little couple things you know do a walk through so i ain't got to do it early in the morning you know check the oil make sure old bessie good and ready to roll in the morning and sorry y'all if i sound a little stuffy got a little cold Y'all bear with me. All right. Let's see if I can set y'all up somewhere. Y'all hold right there for a second. I'm gonna check the oil. Yeah, man. I know. I know. I've been going for a while, but you know, I've been working, man. I'm a busy man working man you know what i mean right there look good but let me check one more time well yeah man on this i'm gonna take y'all with me in the morning i just want to give you a quick review and you know we got a couple things to talk about things i want to talk about let you know what's updated in my life things of that so uh i'll start talking about it that in the morning on the way to the route and I try to get y'all, you know, get me uh, getting unloaded and stuff like that. The oil look good, man. I think that's about it. I could check the transmission, but I did that not too long ago, so I'm not gonna do that again. But yeah, another thing. Well, I just I say that in the morning. But make sure you always put your clips back. Cause if not, let me tell you what'll happen. <laughs> Have me one time. Um. Yeah, we were getting the, the truck checked out. I think there was um, Big Bertha. Yeah, getting the truck checked out. And the mechanics forgot to close the hood. So, you know, I'm driving down the highway. Not the highway, what, just like a two lane road. And the dog on, I hit the brakes, the old hood flew up. I couldn't see nothing. So I had to stop and figure out, <laughs> make sure I hit nobody. And the mosquitoes bad in the house, you know. Uh, well, let me go ahead and lock this up for in the morning. So, yeah, but make sure you put your clips back on your hood. So if not, that might cause an accident. You might run in the back of somebody because you can't see nothing once that hood come up. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end it here. I just want to do a quick intro so I ain't got to do that in the morning. And we just talk a little bit about some things. And I'll show you the load, me unloading. All right, I'll holler at y'all. Peace. Good morning. New day, new beginnings. <laughs> nah, but uh, I left a little late, like around six o'clock. Right now it's six seventeen. But um, I got two hours and thirty-five minute drive. But it's say eight o'clock delivery. But I talked to the shipper, and she said um, she told me yesterday as long as between eight and four should be good. So I got a good start. I get there at eight fifty-two. So. That's cool with it. But um we in route, yo. Uh, I get you some footage um probably a little later on. Cause uh, when I put in the address, I'm thinking, I done been in this place before. So I looked at it on the uh, satellite. I've been here before when it first started, when they um 
they was building a coffee shop. And so I had the equipment like refrigerators and stuff the first time. And then this time I got like only a few items. So it was this real nice place, Pinehurst Resort. So uh, I get you some footage once I get there. And um, we do it like that. Hey, what's up, y'all? We, we still in route. I just, before we, um, before I get to my destination, I wanted to, you know, get a heads up for the, for the new people that's coming into the business, box truck business. I just want to give y'all, you know, if you need help, like with a mentorship, just be careful. I'm, I'm not saying all mentorships are bad, but if you need a mentorship, make sure you get your money's worth and, and make sure you ain't getting got, you know what I mean? Getting getting scammed because uh, they wolves in sheep clothing so be very careful when they be talking about it, all this finessing and finessing the brokers I mean you, you're supposed to finesse the broker I would say finesse because I really hate that word but uh, when you talk to the brokers you you know you negotiate you know what I mean that's what I, that's what I like to call it negotiate with the broker but um but they always talking about finessing this finessing that what you think they gonna do to you? They gonna finesse you right out your money. And you gonna be short on money, and you just starting up. So just be, just be careful. If, if you wanna know the scam that's going on, excuse my voice. But um, the scam that's going on, you can um look at Entree Mike latest video. It's um, it, it gets more in detail about. The scams that they pull it, that they put on new people. Alright? And you know why? You know, none of the comments might be all good things. You don't see nothing bad. Because you know why? As soon as you put it on there, they're gonna block it. They're gonna delete it and block you. And so you know you can't warn nobody else. So that, that's how that's how it's continue to get people getting got. Getting scammed out of their money. So just be aware, y'all. I'm not saying all mentorships are bad, but just be careful who you work with, or who you want to give your money to, because um, it might not be the best thing to do at this time. All right. I'm like two minutes away. I just wanted. I just seen a low bridge. I remember this bridge last time. It's 13 feet. So. Um, but it looks like I'm turning right before I get to it, so hopefully I, I should be good. I remember last time I had to turn off. Uh, I seen it, I was like, oh, I can't go under that. And, you know, this truck is 13.6. So, uh, you know, make sure you be aware of your signs and stuff. And you should be good. But they told me to go around the back. They said if I go in the front, I might get stuck. So, I'm going to the back of the hotel, resort. What happens after that? The tree branches lower over here too. You gotta be very careful when you go in these different places, man. They they put you in a kind of bind. I didn't want me to make that turn. Call them and see. See other trucks, so I should be good to unload over here somewhere. All right, but let me call. I'm gonna call the person that they uh, point of contact, and I get some footage on getting unloaded. All right, yo, I'm bringing everything to the edge, so he can just grab with a forklift. We'll be done. Yeah, they got a um, 
They got a golf course in the hole. I'm thinking about a. Uh, Yeah, I was thinking about um, playing a couple holes, but then I was thinking, you know, I'd be so good, they want me to go pro. And I, you know, I, I got the truck, so I told my iPads on this deal. <laughs> That's it, I'm gonna uh, get, him, get him to sign the uh, paperwork and I'll be headed on out. Leave it on, make sure I'm going the same way I came out. One wrong turn, boy, you get that bridge and you have to back all the way up. That's a done deal, got my paperwork signed. Watch out for these tree branches. the scene y'all might not see this <laughs> because the person that's editing is the one that did it he, he said he wasn't gonna tell nobody but I'm gonna tell it but let me tell you the day before we went on our vacation going to Jamaica Devin thought he had an easy run he had a uh, easy run going to somewhere in Georgia I can't remember exactly the spot but uh he got there early he thought he was gonna drop off and be back home so he can you know get everything ready you know, get ready to pack and stuff. But um, this dummy, <laughs> this dummy got stuck in a ditch. Now the turn he tried to make, he wouldn't, I, I tried to beg him to take a picture. He said, no, I ain't taking no picture. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't never seen somebody cuss himself out so bad. I feel sorry for himself. <laughs> hey. Yo, he was so mad, boy. He, hey, I had to watch him. But nah, he um. Oh, let me finish making this turn. Yeah, but he um. The turn he must be. It had to be a ditch on one side and a ditch on the other side. And he know good and well he couldn't make that turn. You got to be one stupid. Yeah, you stupid for that, boy. So he had to call the tow people to to help him out the ditch. And. That ain't the bad part. He did it in my truck. He ain't did no damage or nothing, but I got to keep him out of old bets. That's the thing to it. That's the thing to it. I just got to keep him out of bets. Old bets. But, um, yeah. But, you know, things like that are going to happen. You know, you're going to experience something. So, that just, you know, he ain't want y'all to know, but I'm going to tell it. Because it's part of trucking. A lot of, a lot of things happen like that. But, um, that's it for right now, y'all. What's up, what's up, y'all? Hey, I finally made it back to the storage area. Well, I'm getting gas right now, but... Hey, look. Can you see how slow this thing going? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm not going to wait that long, I don't think. I'll be here forever. At least a whole hour try to get gas. I don't know why it's moving so slow, but... um, Yeah, another thing I want to ask y'all... You know, we got um, a 6.7 International Cummins engine, and we averaging, well, I, in old Betsy, you're averaging uh, 12 miles per gallon. If you, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, 12 miles per gallon in old Betsy. And Devin, I just got off the phone with Devin. He said, uh, uh, Big Bertha averaging 10.2, uh, no, 10.3. So, yeah, all right, y'all, my bad. The battery went dead in the GoPro. But, um, 
Yeah, let me know what kind of miles per gallon you're getting on your vehicle. I mean, on your uh, on your trucks. If you got a Eno, International, Ford, uh, uh, Freightliner, you know, just comment down below what um what kind of mile per gallon you're getting in your, in your commercial vehicle. And uh, oh, I think 12 pretty good. I think that's pretty good. If you uh, if you're getting better or worse, let me know. I want to know. I really want to know. But um. I think that's about it. I think that's all I had to say. Um, oh, one more thing. Let me show you. When you, when other people drive your drive your uh, truck, you know if you any normal person, any regular person or regular person that you if you're driving somebody else's truck, you know you don't move stuff around. You know what I mean? You know because you it's only temporary and need for you to move mess with stuff that don't need to be bothered. Let me show you what Devin did. Don't don't worry about the the dirt. But you see this right here? It say in fire emergency, pull pin to remove. You know, so this was on. You know, it was attached some kind of way, some kind of way on this. Why? Why would you remove this? Why? Now, now look at this. Now I got to deal with this jingling around, falling off. Sometimes I found it like that. Now I got to deal with it. Why are you messing with stuff that don't need to be messed with? That's stuff I got to deal with, y'all. So now every time I make sure this, look, look. That's something I got to deal with. Now why would you mess with that? Any normal person would, wouldn't mess with that. But um, that's the stuff I got to deal with, you know what I mean? I don't know why he in here anyway, moving stuff around. But yeah, man, if y'all if y'all like this kind of video, well, you, you come with me and we do, you know, you know, drop off a couple of things. If y'all like it, comment down below. I, I can produce these all the time, you know. We had these loads all the time, so if you like it, I'll do it more. If not, let me know. I won't, I'll save my time, you know what I mean? But hey, I, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Rocking with us, my bad, not just me. But rocking with us, trucking and J's. We appreciate you. Hey, just like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned to the next video, man. Y'all, y'all be safe out there. Be safe. Just be safe. Alright. Peace.